Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the reactions of nitriles with Grignard reagents. Uh, Grignard reagents are generally the only uh, carbon nucleophiles that are strong enough to react with nitriles. So, uh, you know, let's, let's use a butane nitrile as my nitrile. Actually, the outcome of this reaction is going to feel a lot similar to the outcome of the reaction of nitriles with uh, isobutyl aluminum hydride. This is a reaction that is going to generate a ketone. Uh, and what's the way that this, is, this reaction works is through first nucleophilic attack on the nitrile carbon. Break one of the carbon nitrogen pi bonds. Uh, and this forms a kind of an intermediate, let's see. I want a nitrogen here. Um, an intermediate that looks like this. Uh, it's got a negative charge, so it's not really further reactive. It's not really going to do anything more with, with the, the further Grignard reagents. So this thing just hangs around then until you add acid, protonate it, and initially you get the imine. which is, uh, of course, going to hydrolyze to the ketone. So this just gives us one more way of converting carboxylic acid derivatives into ketones uh, using nitriles and Grignard reagents. So this video is pretty short. In the next video, I'm, next two videos, I'm going to summarize those reactions uh, you know, the outcomes of the various reactions. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.